uh, hi everyone and welcome back so in this video we will talk about what all things you can do with node.js and how we can get started with node.js like writing a simple application before that we will try doing the node.js installation with node version manager okay so what you can do with the uh, node.js i mean why should i use node.js node.js can be a command line tool you can create your any kind of library node.js can be used for the backend processing like currently we are using for backend like php or ruby or any kind of scripting language same can be used as a node.js node.js can be used to write your rest apis graphql apis to build your backend system so you are writing front end with react and angular your backend can be in the node.js it can be a scalable microservices any kind of thing except the heavy computation node.js is can do everything for the backend systems okay you will be using it to write a command line tools to write a some kind of a package management and node.js has a good community so you will be able to find all these kind of uh, command line packages node.js packages in the npmjs.com okay so all these kind of automation libraries you can build with a node.js node.js mainly we will be using to build the backend of our application okay so to install the node.js you can either go to the official website of node.js i will suggest don't do that just install node version manager it actually help you to switch back different versions of node.js node.js is not like okay it is only having one single version uh, you can talk we can talk about node.js version after 10.0 so there are many versions node.js 12 uh, node.js now i think 14 is also available so you can install the node.js from here and you can switch back and forth between different versions so if you just see node minus v current my node.js version is v12 but if you just talk about uh, the latest version if you just see nvm list let me just see what all commands we have So these are NVM LS. So you can see these are the different versions I already have on my system and I'm currently using V12. But if you wanted to switch to a particular version, right, something like this NVM install, you can install this particular version and then you can use NVM use to get this activated on your system. Okay. And if you wanted to make your particular Node.js version as a default, then you have to use this command. Otherwise, whenever you close the terminal, you will be moved back to the older version. So you have to make a default. So currently my default version is also v.12.0. Okay. So if I wanted to list down all the LTS version, uh, let me just check. Sorry, NVM LS LTS, I think. So NVM version, this is the command. Command line options, let me just see this. So these are the different versions. I mean, you can just get all the law long-term support versions of node.js which is like uh, or.14 so all the versions are available so you can remove all these things you can do for the node.js current version of my npm is also there it's node.js 10 i mean 6.9.0 and node.js is this so if i wanted to just install a new version nvm install v10.0.0 this is like a previous version if my one of my old application is there and I wanted to use this nvm use v10.0.0 right I switch to this older version and if I just see now it is this right so this is how you can switch back and forth and if I wanted to use v12.0.0 then I can just use this okay back to my current version so this is how you can switch back to different node.js versions okay so node.js is a command line okay it's a scripting it's a, like a runtime environment 
of four javascript which can run outside the browser so here we don't see any browser if you just go to node.js you don't see any document object there it's undefined you don't see any window object there you will just see few global variables like global is there process so all these variables are there which actually taking care of the node.js process we don't have all those things which are related to the browser like browser APIs like alert, confirm, all these things are not there. Even the document object, window objects, those things are not available in the Node.js environment. So currently I'm in the Node.js console. So here you can do all these kind of things. What you can do on the scripting on this console. You can also see we also have a console, same as the browser. Because it's, it's a required. It's not something which CLI will not have. This is required console.log right all the same methods console.log1 all these methods are available on the CLI also okay so uh, in the next video what we will do is we will actually start running the node.js code okay we'll create a simple node.js code we can do that right away I mean currently we are in the terminal so we'll exit it from here we are app.js we can create and here you can write your first program If you already know all these things you can just skip it I don't want it to consume your time right so this is how you can do it currently it's just a process started and process exited because there was nothing else to do we it just a command line program app.js we wrote some JavaScript code now it can run JavaScript apart from the browser APIs it can run everything okay so we have done the installation of node.js through the node version manager what you need to do is you need to follow these commands if that is not installed on your Mac okay then NVM versions you can install the node and you can install a particular version like NVM install node and then NVM use that particular version if you do this it is it is going to fetch the latest version currently I'm specifying the version right so if I do this NVM install node it is going to install the latest version which is I think uh, v14 right v14.5.0 and it will just uh, assign the latest version to me I don't want the latest version I am currently fine with the so if you just node nvm ls now I should see the 14.0.0 also and I think I'm currently using that 14.0.0 right nvm use I'm fine with 12.0.0 for now So this is helpful to switch the different versions. Okay, thanks everyone.